Hey everybody, it's Jen with Chappie Plans. Thanks for joining me for this video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my undated Laurel Denise planner and um, how it's been working for me for the past four months. So if you'd like to stick around for a chat, then I'll see you in a minute. Chappie fam, it's Jen with Chappie Plans. How's it going? I hope you guys are having a great day, a great start to your weekend. I am just going to be sharing this video because I feel like it will hopefully give you some insight. Um, if you haven't been watching my, you know, weekly plan with me's, if you haven't been watching me um, do any of these extra bonus videos in this um, planner system, this is sort of going to be an all comprehensive um, review, I guess, of how this has been working for me and how and why I found planner piece with this planner. So I am an affiliate for Laurel Denise, um, but that doesn't, I pay for all of my own products. I don't, you know, get anything gifted. Um, and I completely love and stand by this brand and just the ladies who run the company are fantastic. So that being said, if you do decide to shop Laurel Denise, I will link the, um, shop below in the description and gen 10 is the code you can use to save 10% on your order. Um, like this gorgeous folio, which is so stunning. And it's got like the little embossed approved by Laurel Denise gold hardware. It also comes in green, the same color that is on the cover of this undated planner. So, um, on the inside pocket, I just have this, uh, month. I keep this here. The, they are from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. She designs absolutely, insanely gorgeous artwork and stationery, stickers, all kinds of things. She even just released some stickers that are kits, her first ever kits designed for the Laurel Denise planner system. So definitely check out her shop. Um, she does have a rep team, so make sure you, you know, you go to her Instagram and she has um, those listed so you can save if you decide to shop JoJo's shop. Um, I keep this in here just for decoration, some um, post-its, this cute little paper clip, and I don't have anything in here as of yet. This inside pocket I keep clean because I just like the way this looks aesthetically. The lettered name sticker comes from According to Allie, and she'll do those every December, November, December around there, so stay tuned for that. If you like her lettering, um, it just looks like you wrote it right in your planner, right? Um, this little clip I use to keep the months that have passed all together. Um, so I'm going to take that off in just a second, but just show you that this is how I flip to the week that we're currently in. So right now it is, um, October 3rd, this little clip, um, I use to keep the week, whatever week it's at. So, um, right now it's all on the same, on the same page, but, um, I will be using this shortly. And so let me start at June. So you open up and you have, and you're undated, which I love this because I have my month go from Monday. Well, this month is a Monday to Sunday, but I didn't like that. So Sunday to, to Saturday. Um, but my week goes Monday to Sunday. So my weekends are together. So I'll show you that when we get to July. June was, I didn't, I don't think I really filmed any plan with me videos in this. I really just wanted to try it out on my own because I was still using disc bound at this point. Um, but these are all completely customizable, which is why I have found true planner piece. So just to give you some context, um, and if you don't know about me, I have this channel. I also work part-time at my church and I am a substitute teacher. I'm also the PTA president. And so there's a lot that I have to plan for, including just like family stuff, right? Appointments, events, vacations, all that kind of stuff. So um, it's a lot of planning and people ask like, how do you do all these things? And the answer is because I have a planner that I literally write down every single thing in. If I did not have this planner, I would not function the way that I do. Um, I probably do a little bit too much, but that's a discussion for another day. And quite frankly, Ain't nobody got time for that, right? So, um, this is the 
um, the month at a glance that you get to see every week, which is why what sold me initially on this planner was that. Because the constant flipping back and forth was driving me bananas, and it's so much more convenient to have it all on one page. So that's your month, and I sectioned it off with this washi tape to then show myself visually that, okay, this is your week. This is your month. This is your, the week you're in. Um, I did take some box stickers and flipped them vertically so that they would fit inside these thin columns. You do not need to worry if you have big handwriting because I feel like I have fairly large handwriting and I have plenty of room. Uh, you have these sections so you can use them for whatever you like. They are pre-labeled but in the 2024 dated planners they are left blank. They do look very different from this planner so just keep in mind um, that I'm just reviewing this undated vertical. There are other formats. There are horizontal. There are um, project planners, teacher planners, and so forth. So this is just my my feedback on this specific planner. If you're looking for inspiration or um, you know, plan with me's or specifics on the other types of planners uh, Laurel Denise offers, go check out Laurel Denise's website or their YouTube channel where there's tons of content. Um, that's one of the greatest things about Laurel Denise is they are really, really, really not just trying to sell you something that's going to benefit you, but they're then showing you exactly how you can use it in several different ways, giving you ideas, inspiration, like really trying to set you up for success. So I really appreciate that about Laurel Denise. Um, so back in June, I was using this for social media at the bottom. Um, and I did that for quite a while. So that's what you're going to see at the bottom of these weeklies. And at the top, I just have the days of the week and the dates. Um, and then each day I would just like put important things in a box. Sometimes I'll highlight it. And then the color dots are for whose uh, um, task or appointment or um, event it is. So, you know, for this week I was red, um, my husband was black, and green was Nora. And then I also use this se section for to-dos and that has not changed. So I've, you know, switched it up with stamps. I've switched it up with different stickers, color schemes. Here you can see I use box stickers, but I also highlighted, um, you know, exciting, important events for the week. Um, to bring in some color, I just highlighted these instead of checked them off, which I like that. Brings a little bit of extra color to the page. Um, this week I did something a little different and brought washi into the middle of the page and didn't do it on the tops and bottoms, which I start doing in the next month. Um, you can see it was a very, very busy week. And this week I used some stamps to create boxes, which I really liked. I used stickers for the dates. I started to put the weather, like doodle the weather in each day, but then I forgot. Um, it's something I, in my, in theory, I like to do, but then I just don't do it when it, when push comes to shove. Um, and then this was how I was doing social media. Like this was my checklist of all the steps for video content. Um, and then I had the calendar on the back, but I didn't like having to flip like this all the time. So you'll see that I changed that for July. Um, at the time I had more than one, uh, rep team that I represented. So I used, uh, lots of different colored dots to, here, I'll zoom in to um, t make sure that I was holding my responsibilities for each rep team each week. Um, and then I was using this section, which is blank every month, and it stays this way in the 2024 dated planners. You can use this however you like. I used it for a brain dump. I used it for content ideas. And then on the right, I liked using this, and I've still been using this for highlights for each month. So... And this is the month I chose to doodle them in. You know, I got my car detailed. I can look at this at a glance and see all the highlights, right? Like, got we got haircuts. Um, we went to a birthday party. Um, we had field day. It was our last PTA meeting. There was Father's Day. Um, last day of second grade, we went to um, Dinosaur Barbecue for Father's Day. And I got my Laurel Denise planner. So those were all highlights for June. And you can see now going into July, I use this kit from um, Wonton and a Million, the Boba kit. It's so cute. And uh, I love that the days of the week have, are like already, they fit perfectly. They're just this washi, like this perforated washi. Here, I didn't decide to separate the month from the week um, just for whatever reason, maybe because it's all the same kit. So I just thought, oh, it looks really cohesive. Um, 
So I started using the top for social media and the bottom for exercise. And I've shared this in other videos, but I'll share it here. It is disgusting and messy and wet and like gross looking. And some places I completely lost my journaling because um, it was, there was like an open wipe, package of wipes that my planner was sitting on for like overnight. So in the morning it was completely soaked and I had to use my heat tool to dry it, which um, if you don't know, does erase any erasable pens. So like the Pilot Friction pens, it erases it any of that and then for all my Tombos which is usually what I use or my mild liners it um creates like a watercolor effect so it, and that is why it looks like this just so you're aware okay so still using social media at the top um this week I tried to separate like work from like other responsibilities I didn't really love that so that was the only time I did that um this is where I'm tracking Nora's health so instead of my exercise now I'm doing Nora's health down here okay and then this week yeah it was I uh, it was like tough because I got really sick and I was very disappointed it was a really hard week um I journaled about Nora's health but also about like her individual days down here because she had she was uh getting over being sick and she also had um Roblox camp for the summer. And this week we're getting ready to go camping and we leave for our Michigan trip. So it's mostly decorative because we were away this half. This is like the beginning of the week when I had a ton of things to do. And um, yeah, you can see I didn't, I didn't really do anything towards the end of the week. I didn't bring it with me camping. Um, I was planning Nora's summer party, which we had at the end of the year, we had a flamingo. And so that was what I used this page for. Um, social media is still on two separate pages, so I guess I don't change that right away. And you can see there's the YouTube steps. This is uh, me keeping track of all the purchases I had for the month and a wish list um, because there were a lot of things that I wanted to get. And then my July highlights are stickers this time. So we had a wedding we went to, Nora's Flamingo, um, we went glamping, uh, we went to Kids Bop, so I used stickers to track my July highlights. All right, August, this is uh, when we're camping. You can see I used a kit for this week and I stopped I, like it's supposed to be social media up here but because we were gone I didn't really use it and I think this is maybe when let me think no I guess not um I was gonna say I'll get to that in a minute but yeah so since we were gone I didn't really do a lot with social media and then I'm still tracking Nora's health at the bottom still using the top for social media, always using the right column for to-dos. And you can see now I'm using the washi to separate the sections and kind of keep them like three separate sections, if that makes sense. You can see every week I have color dots, one for each one of our family members. So this week I'm green, Nora is the coral color, and my husband is yellow. And I use stamps on this week as well, stamps for the dates. Social media, I squeezed up into this little tiny spot here. And this is when I'm like, hmm, I don't really need all this space. So let me try using this tiny, tiny half inch margin and see how that works. Still trying that out for this week. Um, I like the big numbers. This is a kit from Jojo Apple Prints. I like that I sectioned off the to-do with this thin washi because that you know makes me focus on this week here. Um, still tracking Nora's health at the bottom, highlighting things with like important or fun things with highlighter, my mild liners. Um, and this week I completely took out social media. I was like, I wonder, let me try not even like tracking it because it's basically the same stuff. And if it's that important um, that I need to remember, I can put it in the week because I have plenty of room. So that's what I'm trying the last week of August. And I'm going to see how, you know, I'm at this point, I'm like, let me see how that works. Again, I'm highlighting important fun things that we did. 
and I finally have everything together. So in August, I'm like, let me have it so I can see it all together. And I liked matching these pages with the monthly page colors wise and even like some of the stickers because I do tend to look at these three pages the most. So the fact that they're all cohesive aesthetically, I preferred that. Flipping over, I have a wish list for December Daily that I started, but I migrated to a much larger sheet of paper because I could not restrain myself and I got all the things. I started our packing list here for glamping and I put this fun quote here, which I really liked and I enjoyed looking at it throughout the month. So I think I carried that over into September. Um, and then this month I tried all stamps, but black and white so that I knew it was gonna be a lot like a busy but I figured if I kept it black and white, it would be, I don't know, I guess a little bit more cohesive. So, you know, stamp that we went, I had a Korean adoptee pool party. I, you know, started ordering December daily. We've been watching, uh, we were watching doc, a uh, documentary called Quarterback. We went to amusement parks. So all those things are stamped on the right. And then for September, I tried something um, a little bit different. I like used... You can see on my monthlies, I typically try to keep it really clean with the, either a dot marker or a dated sticker. Here, I was like, let me just do a little like quick thing with my mod liner and I don't love it. So you will see that for October, I went back to using a Zig Clean Color dot marker. Um, I also did something a little different in that I highlighted the days that are like no school days and I like the way that that looks. Um... If it was a longer period of time, like a vacation, I would probably use washi to differentiate there was no school happening. Um, but because it's just one day, I decided to highlight it or like, you know, li outline the box, which I like. Visually, it helps me see, oh, that's like an important thing to remember. Um, so I'm still not going to be tracking social media. In fact, I don't do it at all anymore um, on the top. So I just use these spaces for the dates. And uh, these are individual, like, just tasks each day or appointments and things I have to do. And still tracking Nora's health at the bottom. Same here. I did some more stamping on this week's spread in addition to stickers and box stickers. Um, I was trying out using two washi, uh, the look of, like, layered washi. Um, which I really like, and highlighted things again with my mod liner. Um, and down here, you can see now I'm just tracking Nora's sleep. And something else different I tried this week is adding stickers to the top. Usually, I just keep the date and the day of the week. But I like how this looks a lot. Um, this week, I'm using a kit from or a sticker sheet from Audrey Okia. And... You can see just tracking sleep for Nora. Uh, kept it simple with stickers and my zebra mod liner. And then this was social media. And I tried something different for myself where if it was uh, a reel, then I would highlight the box. And that circle means that I need to finish um, scheduling the reel for Instagram. I know that in my head, so that's why that is has circles now. The back is my December daily wish list that I had mentioned I had to redo because there was way more than I had put on the last one. This is, you know, we're back in school and there was like lots of events. I had a morning program, open house, PTA meeting, back to school bash, take your child to school day. Um... And then just a brain dump section. I really loved using this for that purpose. Um, and then here I did the quote again. And I tried to do it so that I could see it every from week to week. So, and then I just embellished it with some stickers. My September highlights this week because it was such a, or this month, because it was such a busy month. I just chose to write them all out using my uh, Tombow Twin Tone markers, which are these. So first day of third grade, we had a day date, we got a new TV, I started substitute teaching, we got season passes to our Six Flags, um, we went to the Hot Air Balloon Festival, we booked a Disney trip, um, Matt, my husband got a raise, so all these things are 
um, just listed. And I like trying different things. I like that, you know, it is pretty cohesive, like the color scheme, right? Like this is way more fall colored, but then you have added color here. This is definitely giving rainbow vibes, but I feel like that's so appropriate for back to school. So um, yeah, that is how I've been using it. I really love um, being able to switch up how I use these back pages from month to month based on my needs for that month. Um, and then there's on the undated planner, there's a lot of blank pages in the back that you can totally make however you want. So I chose to use these perpetual calendars for school related things only. But then I have my own calendar here, which has the whole month listed so that I can write things as I'm as they're coming up or as I'm making appointments so that when I go to do my monthly plan with me, I can reference these pages. Um, I have a student loan payoff tracker. This is my uh, PTA brain dump for each month. Um, these are me tracking exercise from month to month. Um, so, you know, like you can literally do whatever you want with these pages. It's amazing. I've got a cleaning schedule back here. Um, you know, they're dot grid. They're all, you know, and uh, graph as well. Um, the folder back here, I just keep like the school calendar days off and like um, other important um, pieces of information that I need to have. And that's basically it. So I I love this planner. I can't say enough um, positive things about the planner system. I also now have a little pen pouch, which I take with me. And um, where is it? It's like the perfect size. Um, it wraps around, you know, the whole folio. It wraps around the planner. If you don't have the folio, it has this gorgeous interior. So I put um, a couple of pencils. I put my miniature scissors. Um, my white out and basically call it good and I can take it with me um and it just looks so professional and it's so cute and I am just obsessed and also by the way on the inside of these folios it's lined with that hot pink I know it's just it's stunning everything about Laurel Denise products it's from the packaging to the product itself it's amazing so I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. If you need, if you're interested in seeing maybe um, another quarterly review, that would be let's see, October, November, December. So January, February. Um, and I could do you know the other four months that I haven't shared yet and we haven't got to. Um, or if you just like these monthly reviews that I sometimes do, I can still do those as well. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I'm happy to chat with you there, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, friends, and remember that you are enough, and I love you guys. Bye.